So this has been a, a fast run for you, man, from Contender mm -hmm. Series to, to the Ultimate Fighter finale to now pay-per-view main card, man. What's, what's this experience like for you? What's the emotion like right now? Yeah, it's awesome. I'm not super surprised. You know, I've always kind of pictured this. Um, it's going a little bit faster than I thought, but it doesn't add any more pressure. People keep asking if there's more pressure on me. I'm fighting on a pay-per-view card. I love it. I want that. I want it. If I was the main event, I'd love it. So it's, it's, it's awesome. Is it exciting for you? I mean, does it feel special? I mean, like you said, you, you were working towards this. You envisioned it. But, I mean, does it feel special to be happening like this? Yeah, I think I'll look at look back at it and be like, damn, that was sweet. But right now, it's just I'm just enjoying it, living in the moment, just doing these interviews. It's fun, and I'm just I'm enjoying the whole process. Very cool. A lot of attention has been given to you right right away, right? I mean, it starts out with Snoop Dogg. Now this week, you know, mm -hmm. you're on the Embedded series, even though you're not the main or the co-main. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of attention is given to you. Do you, do you enjoy that? Is it, is it something that, 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 that you like doing or is it kind of weird like having people dive into your life a little bit? Um, it's not weird at all. I kind of, I knew I'd be in this position. I knew I'd be on Embedded. I knew I'd be like that. Uh, I see people commenting on the UFC saying why, why are they promoting this guy. It's like you go out there and throw the, throw the kicks I'm throwing, do what I'm doing, knock out people, you know, be, be wild, be yourself, be crazy and you'll get promoted too. It's, so it's, I see a lot of hate, but it's it's fine. I, it's fine. So does I know you said not not real pressure, but like does it raise the expectations for? Because I wonder, because like you said, I mean people are tuning in because they want to see the sugar show, right? They want to see mm -hmm. the wild stuff. They mm -hmm. want to see the crazy stuff. So I mean, is it difficult knowing that you've got to go in there and you've got to kind of meet these expectations that have been placed on you? Not at all. I spar, you know, hard twice a week in camp, and I do. I put on a show in sparring too. It's not. It's not like I have to go out there and try to do this. It's just I go out there and do what I do, and that's the sugar show. So it just works out. That's just my style. You mentioned the uh, the haters and such. I mean, have there been any drawbacks on this on this fast rise, or been anything that y y you don't like about it, or that's been difficult for you to deal with? Not at all. Everything's been you know the haters. I like I laugh. It's not. It doesn't bug me. Um, it, I laugh at it. It's all. It's all good. Very nice. I think if you go back taking your regional fights into account too. This is your fifth fight in a 12-month span, so you're, you're staying busy. I wonder, um, you know, sometimes people say they get better when they don't have fights, when they're able to kind of really improve and stuff in the gym. Where do you feel like your games come in the last year, considering how busy you've been with fights? Yeah, you go and look at that last, the fight um, I had, even the Contender Series to the Tarion fight. I've got, I got so much better, you can see it. Um, I'm constantly improving. I'm in the gym twice a day, every day, getting better. So I think this fight you're going to really see even more improvement. Yeah, you've been out here in Vegas for a little while. I understand it's been a, a tough, a tough run for you. You can't play Fortnite. Has, that, has it been difficult for you to survive without getting to play Fortnite? It's up in my room. I've been playing. <laughs> I've been playing every day. So it's not I, the Wi-Fi. The connection is not bad at all. Actually, it's not the best, um, but it's not bad. Nice. Are you a big gamer? I, I didn't know that about you. I, I get into games. When I get into games, I really get into them. I got a hundred out, over a hundred hours logged onto that game already. So, um, usually I'm a big Call of Duty fan, but this game's got my attention. I usually just get addicted to one game and go with that. So that's what I've been doing. Very cool. All right, let's talk about the matchup here. Andre Sukuntot, uh He's had a couple losses, but looked great last time out. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's got definitely got some some flashy strikes as well at times. I mean, what, what do you think about his game? Yeah, he's uh, one and two in the UFC. Very well could be three and zero. Oh. Very well could be zero oh and three. So we'll see who shows up. Um, I'm gonna show up. We'll see if he shows up and can take some shots on the chin and see if he can stand around for 15 minutes. Sounds like there's been a, a little bit of back and forth. I mean, are you guys expecting this to be a uh, kind of a, 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 a an all-out battle, an all-out war? What are you expecting in this fight? I trained for a 15-minute war. You know, so I that's how I train every fight. Um, I plan on going out there and knocking him out in the first round. I'm gonna be way too fast for him, and you know I'm gonna hit him right in the chin, and he's gonna drop. You mentioned the flash and the style and the creativity you have. Where did that come from? I mean, is that something that your coaches have instilled in you? Is that something that you mimicked somebody that you saw growing up? I mean, where does that come from? I didn't really watch fighting growing up, so I didn't really mimic any, anyone while I was training. Um, my coaches definitely didn't really like it at first uh, when I moved to Phoenix, but they realized that's just me being me. Um, that's just really me being me in there, and just fighting the way I fight, I don't know. Do they ever try to coach it out of you and say, you know, like, listen, you're taking chances, you got, you got to keep yourself in, in safer position, or, or have they come to understand, like, this is a, a good thing for you? Right, yeah, they used to not be, they used to not like it, you know, put your hands up, do this, don't do that, don't do this, but uh, my coach, Tim Welch, he, he's, he's seen it, he's like, okay, this works for him, so we've built off of that, and we haven't tried to change it, we've just built around what I do, and we have so many moves and so many little specialties that that he calls out, I throw him. It's like he's playing a video game and I'm the character. 
Very nice. So it's been a fast rise for you already, 2018. Give me an idea. What's what's the game plan? What's the goals? What do you, what do you want to accomplish in, in this first full year in the UFC? I try not to do that just because I know how messed up fighting is. There's injuries and there's, you know, there's this, this sport's rough. So I try to just take it fight at a time. I have no plans after this fight. I have no plans after Saturday. My, my last plan is Saturday night. You know, that's that's... This, this game's too messed up to be planning that far ahead. You're such a young guy. I wonder, I mean, are you, do you have title aspirations or is it more about, you know, just going in there and, and just showing who you are and, 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 and collecting paychecks? I mean, do you think about greatness? Do you think, what, what, what's your ultimate goal? Ultimate goal is to be a legend in the sport, but I'm taking it fight at a time. I'm going to go out there and if I just keep doing what I'm doing, I know that title's going to be coming. I know the money's going to be coming. I know the sponsors going to be coming. So I'm just taking it fight at a time and training hard and going to go out there and perform, and that's what's important, just winning that next fight. You've proven yourself a marketable guy early on in your career. I mean, is there is there some luck involved, or do you feel like you understand it? Because I, mean, I, I see fighters all the time say, oh, what do I got to do to get noticed? What do I got to do? And then here you are, as you said, being featured. I mean, do you feel like there was some good fortune involved, or do you feel like you understood what it took to, to get this kind of attention early in your career? I've understood what it took. You know, it's not just the fight business, it's the entertainment business. And uh, ever since I was a little dude, I was trying to entertain everyone I was around. I was trying to be the center of attention, and I've always... And I've, and I've brought that into this sport and now look at me. So it's all the people saying like, why are you marketing this guy? It's, it's me marketing myself. I'm giving them content to push. It's me. So yeah, I'm doing it right. It's interesting because you know I hear people say, what's the popularity of MMA like right now? But I think you hit it the nail on the head, right? It's an entertainment business. Do you think that's something that more people need to realize? Like it's not just wins and losses. Yes, you've got to, you've got to win, but you've got to go entertain and give people a reason to, to want to tune in? Yeah, for sure. You, I mean, it is a fight business, but it's also an entertainment business, and you got to be good at both. You can be good, just good at fighting, but you're not going to get those paychecks you want. And that's just, I want the paychecks, I want, I want everything. Very nice. All right, well, Saturday night's your next opportunity to make a statement. Give me, give me an idea, man. You said you're ready for a war, but when you play this thing out in your head, how do you see yourself getting your hand raised? Yeah, when I play this out in my head, I'm going in there and I'm dropping him, you know, two or three minutes into the first round. That's just kind of how I see this fight going, playing out. Um, I also could see myself going in there and having a war for 15 minutes, and that's fine. I'm I'm ready for that. I trained for that, and I'm down for I'm down for a war. And I'm, but I just see myself knocking them out early.